now in order to place the image let's get back over here within the second grid item this thing we can use the image tag actually and we can set the source of it to be the image that we have within the assets this thing so actually let me just change the name to be uh, mockup something like this and in order to refer it we will be using the the slash like we will be starting it with a slash within which we need to tap inside the assets and mockup.png set the alt attribute to be mockup so let's see we have a couple of warnings anyway we will fix them so now we take a look well that's strange seems like the image is way too big so in order to constrain the image within the grid item this thing what we can do is on this image we can set using the inline styling we can set the width to be of 100% of the available space if we do that well actually that's looking nice and seems like the border radius is not that much so let's change that as well using the border radius to be 20 pixels i think that should be enough well actually that's looking a bit strange 10 pixels yeah i think that's fine so yeah that's actually looking nice i actually like this thing let's take a look mm, we have should we add more spacing to our website let's do that first over here on the main box component let's increase the padding instead of two let's set it to be of three which would be 24 pixels and actually that is looking nice so the last thing is to align these two in the same axis and for that mm -mm, over here actually one second this is the thing mm, as we are using the grid container which has the two grid items one for the left and the other one for the right so on the container we can set the align items which would be the the cross axis this thing we can set it to be of center so if we do that well actually that's looking pretty nice that's looking perfect so i think this completes the the design for the home page should we work on the responsiveness right now like we can do that we will be just optimizing it for the for the smartphones and for the smartphones i think we can um, we can actually hide this image it doesn't make any sense to display this image so let's do that or should we hide it like if we use the spacing on the grid container of about five it will add a bit of spacing something like this but still it doesn't look nice as it looks pretty ugly anyway so we will be hiding the image on the small devices and for that we can actually use a component called hidden so using hidden kind of speak for itself it hides any content that you wrap inside of it so we will be we will be wrapping the grid item itself within the hidden as such and on the hidden component we need to uh, pass in the prop specifying the breakpoint or the breakpoints in this case as we just want to hide it on the smallest breakpoint we can use the only and set it to be of excess which means that the content which is in 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 the in the hidden component should be hidden on the excess breakpoint if we do that that's looking pretty nice so now we need to work on the model the model which will appear in the center of the screen using which the user will be able to sign in and by the way as you can see this thing is actually looking pretty nice i'm kind of happy with how far we have come anyway let's add the model as well 